Welcome back everyone, today we are going to be turning this into this. The liquid you just saw here is something called methyl methacrylate. It is used to manufacture acrylic glass. If we can even call this a chemical, only this is needed, acrylic glass. Acrylic glass is made from polymethyl methacrylate and therefore it is the polymer of what we are trying to make. To start off, all of the acrylic glass pieces were cut down for convenience and they were added to this metal can as a reaction vessel. With PTFE tape, the can was closed. At the top of the can, an aluminium pipe was also connected using PTFE tape. PTFE will also decompose at extremely hot temperatures, but this worked for making styrene from polystyrene and therefore it should also work for this. The apparatus is extremely simple. A Bunsen burner, a reactor, a pipe covered in some wet cloth as an improvised condenser and a receiving flask covered in aluminium foil. The product is light sensitive and care should be taken to keep it away from light. Otherwise it may polymerize again. With the help of a Bunsen burner the PMMA should decompose back into the monomer. The reaction taking place here is the following. Polymethyl methacrylate is turned into methyl methacrylate. A reaction like this of course is never 100% efficient and some byproducts will be formed and some of them were even gaseous and escaped the apparatus. We did all of this outside with a respirator because the fumes shouldn't be inhaled. In the end, about 227 grams of this yellow liquid right here were collected. Adding some sort of polymerization inhibitor would be wise, but I don't have one and therefore I will have to stir it like this without any inhibitor. The product you see here, methyl methacrylate, is already pure enough for my purposes. If really pure product is needed, you could redistill it. The bottle was capped, labeled appropriately and we then wrapped it in aluminium foil to keep light away from it. As I already said, it is possible that this stuff is going to polymerize again, but wrapping it in aluminium foil and putting it in the fridge afterwards should keep it from polymerizing for quite a time. I stopped the reaction the moment too many fumes are produced and this might have been due to poor condensation because the receiving flask was already full enough. If we continued heating, switched out the receiving flask or used the bigger one in the first place or used the more efficient condenser, it would have been possible to turn all of this into some of the product too. Anyways, there you have it, how to make methyl methacrylates. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe in order not to miss out on future stuff like that and I wish all of you a great day.